Hello and welcome back to another pretty hate you video and today we've got another game of the week episode. This time it is Manchester United vs Spurs in the festive season. It is December and it is almost Christmas time and you will be very very happy to hear that I can confirm officially that the 12 days of Christmas is coming back to Prezi HD this Christmas. So I reckon that you cannot wait for that. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what it is, which there is a pretty decent chance that you might be, who knows, um, then you all you have to do is literally just scour through some of my older videos. You'll find the 12 days of Christmas. I would recommend the FIFA 15 12 days of Christmas um, and the FIFA 14. The FIFA 16 one wasn't too great, uh, mainly because it just sort of ended abruptly, but um, this year it is happening, the 12 days of Christmas is definitely happening, but I haven't got long to speak, so let's, let's get this done, so, game of the week, FIFA 17, simulation, right in front of your eyes right now, got Man United versus Spurs, this is a game that is quite often considered to be quite a good one, and there is always quite some interesting result. Manchester United have only won two of their last 11 league games as well in the league, so uh, of course there are 11 league games in the league, obviously. Um, but you know, this game kicks off on Sunday the 11th of December, which will be tomorrow as you're watching this, if you're watching it on the release day, and it is of course at Old Trafford at 15 minutes past 2pm. So, what is the statistics? Seven is the amount of goals that Harry Kane has got in his last six appearances, which is weird because Harry Kane seems to have not gone quiet, but it's just all of a sudden he, he seems to have just been quietly chipping away them goals uh, into the net, which is a bit odd. Um, Manchester United have won only two of their last eight Premier League games against Spurs, which is really, really an amazing feat for Spurs to live up to because Spurs seem to always get a result against United and I don't have an ounce of an idea why but they just do. However Tottenham have lost 19 times at Old Trafford in the Premier League their most defeats at any away ground. United did not lose a game to Tottenham for 22 matches between 2001 and 2012 winning 17 and drawing 5. Suddenly in 2012 it just got turned around for Spurs and they have only won two of their last 26 league matches at Old Trafford in September 2012 and on New Year's Day 2014. Of course, we are reasonably near uh, that, uh, well, two year and a, well, three, three, three years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 2017 New Year's Day, isn't it? Next, yep, definitely 2017. United have won only one of their last eight league matches during six. Their tally of 21 points from 14 matches is their joint worst haul at this stage of a Premier League season. Well, can't we have you back, Van Hal? Is probably what the United fans are thinking right now. Jose Mourinho's players have covered the least ground of any team in the Premier League this season. <sighs> well... I wonder why. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has scored 71 goals in 70 league home appearances since the start of 2012-13. Funny thing is, a lot of them, of course, weren't with United. Wayne Rooney needs one goal to equal Sir Bobby Charlton as Manchester United's all-time leading scorer with 249 goals in all competitions. Literally, I wouldn't care less if Rooney didn't score for the rest of his career because then Sir Bobby Charlton who is, of course, rightly so, Sir Bobby Charlton, would get to keep that record. I just, why does Rooney have to get records? He's going to be remembered as such a good player, and right now, he just isn't. And the funny thing is, you get it with England as well, leading goal, all-time goal scorer for England, and yet, I just don't see it with him. No, no way, not anymore. Ho <laughs> ho! I've saw a ridiculous statistic, like, apparently, like, I don't know, like, 80% of his goals were, like, against, like, in friendly games or something, I don't even know, but it is just stupid that he gets that title, and yes, he was fantastic a few years ago, uh, as recent as five years ago, six, maybe four, three years ago even, uh, but ever since, he's just been on the decline, and you can really tell that, and he's been in quite a lot of uh, dispute or, well, quite a lot of 
What's the word? I can't really find the word, to be honest, but it's sort of like he's in a bit of a ditch at the moment that he can't really dig his way out of. Spurs have gone four Premier League matches without a victory since beating Middlesbrough on the 24th of September. Away matches, that is, by the way, as well. Mauricio Pochettino is winless in all four league away matches against Manchester United as a manager. Tottenham have had the youngest starting eleven on average in the Premier League this season, aged 25 years and 238 days. Harry Kane has scored against 21 of 24 Premier League opponents he has faced, but he is yet to score against Manchester United in five appearances. So, the sports analytics machine is a supercomputer, as I've mentioned before, and it is predicting the most probable score will be 1-1. I'm sure this fucking thing predicts it. 1-1 every time. I just, like, what? Probability of a home win, 35%. Probability of an away win, 35%. Probability of a draw, 30%. It's literally, when you're predicting a probability outcome like that, well, of course, it's going to most likely hit one of them, because he's basically saying it will be completely equal. Like, what's the point of it? Like, genuinely, what a stupid supercomputer. God. Anyway, um, we are literally approaching transfer season very, very soon. Uh, looking at the league table at the moment, this is as of the 9th of December. There is actually quite a lot going on. And uh, it is Chelsea who are currently on top. But apart from that, uh, you've got no surprises really. Uh, I think Swansea will probably go down this year unfortunately as well. It will be their season. I uh, just can't see them staying up. They've been a fantastic addition to the Premier League. And I really like the Swansea team over the past few years. It's been beautiful to see their football. Uh, I really hope they don't go down, but I can't see how they're going to survive at this rate. Obviously, people are saying the surprise of the season, Leicester being in 16th. I very much doubt that they're the surprise of the season, to be honest. I didn't expect anything better. If you actually look at some of my original Game of the Weeks from this year, you'll see I did predict that Leicester will be quite low. Uh, definitely bottom half, I think. Uh, I don't think they'll They'll finish in the top half. If they do, fair enough. It's no surprise if they don't. It's no surprise if they do, in my opinion, which sounds stupid. But I think that's a reasonable comment to make at this moment in time. Uh, then you've got another surprise. West Brom in seventh. Uh, fair play to them. Pulis, I don't really admire him as a manager. And neither does a lot of the West Brom fans. But he's clearly doing something right at the moment. Because they're not just battling to avoid relegation, as it seems normally. They're actually in seventh. That can quickly change. They're only one point behind United, however. And even if United win Spurs this Sunday, Man United will still be a massive three points behind them. I say massive. It's not really that massive. It's only one game's worth. But really, United need to win it. Otherwise, the gap between fifth and sixth will widen. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. If you didn't like you smash that like button. I will have more 12 Days of Christmas news coming at you very soon. Have a very, very brilliant December. I don't know why I'm saying that because I'm going to see you again in December and uh, are we all ready for the festive cheer?